Hey chickies, okay today we are doing Foils Titty Mini. I really hope you like it. It's a little bit longer than normal but anyway, let's get into it. So to start off with, I've got two black nails using Cushio's 2AM in Hollywood and the two middle nails are China Glaze I'd Melt For You. And then we're going to be placing some sesh feet over the top of all of that. So while we're waiting for the sesh feet to dry, I want to show you the really beautiful, beautiful foil I bought from the Nail Shop Australia. Oh my gosh, it just reminded me of cities. I also bought their uh, nail foil glue. Yes, you do need a specific nail foil glue and their top coat which is really important. If you want to do nail foils, you have to buy the right tools. You just have to. You can buy all of this nail foil stuff on eBay. All you need to do is type in nail foil and it will come up with the glue and even some kits where you get lots of different types of foils, but also the glue and the top coat. Now I'll be applying the foil to just the two middle nails today and that's why I painted the silver just in case, but I don't think this actual foil is transparent in any way. So you're going to paint a very thin coat of the nail foil glue. It doesn't work with any other glue, so I mean you could try, but as far as I know it doesn't. This glue doesn't actually dry, it stays tacky, but you must wait a minimum of four minutes before trying to place the foil over the top of it. If you don't do that, you will regret it. And by that I mean it just won't stick. So. Moving on to the actual foil, you want to cut a piece off. You don't have to cut a piece off, it just makes it easier to work with. And remember, don't do anything with that hand that has the glue on it. Don't run your fingers through your hair, don't pat your cat or anything like that because as I said, it stays tacky. It doesn't dry dry, it stays tacky. So place your foil after you've waited a minimum of four minutes onto your nail and then just rub it rub 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 with anything you can find i mean i mean <laughs> rub with your finger rub with a cuticle pusher rub with a, a cotton swab rub with anything you can and then once you've done all that you can just peel it off and there it is on your nail so pretty oh my gosh and then moving on to the middle nail repeat exactly the same process it is so important that you wait that amount of time at, at minimum you can wait seven minutes but don't wait three wait four at least. Just remember to get into all of those little corners and um, if you happen to have gotten any glue or anything like that on uh, on your actual skin, it's really easy to take care of with just some um, polish remover and a small brush. Now once you've done that, you can move on to a top coat. You have to use a specifically designed or at least a very slow drying top coat before adding any other kind of top coat. Now I do this, then let that completely dry, which takes a little while, and then add sesh feet over the top of that to protect it completely. But I would never put sesh feet directly on a foil because it will literally ruin it and there would be no point doing all of that work. Now the next step is to paint the buildings for the city skyline. I'm using my matte black acrylic craft paint and my fine detail brush from the Stylish Nail Art Shop. And you can do any kind of buildings, um, big ones, tall ones, short ones, skinny ones, fat ones, ones with lots of windows, ones with no windows, it's up to you. But you, obviously you need windows really so you can see the foil in the background, <laughs> otherwise there would be no point using the foil. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Okay, so any height of building but you want to have a couple of windows in your building so that you can see through to the foil because that's what makes it look like the lights are on.
Now next to make it look like it's night time I'm going to fill in all of the edges around the buildings and so basically covering all that beautiful foil but there's you know I think it looks good and it makes it look like it's night. Now once you've done all of that, you can go ahead and seal it all in with a good quality top coat. I'm using Sesh Feet for this one. I will then be coming back in with a matte top coat. But as I've mentioned on numerous occasions, you should never put matte um, top coat over acrylic craft paint because it'll smudge it. And that's it for this one. I really hope you liked it. I love the matte look on this one. I think it looks so cool. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye chickies. I want to thank you for subscribing and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.